Okay, so now we're going to dive into filter context. Okay, now, quick recap. When a DAX measure is, or when, when you're seeing a result in your reports or in a visualization, it's, it's the, any result, any singular result is being calculated in two steps. First is what is, the under, what is the evaluation context? So what is the environment in which each result is being calculated in? The next is how that measure is going and running the calculation or running the logic. It can break off into two um, calculation engines. That's the way to think of it. One is sort of like the filter context engine and one is the row context engine. Or one is the aggregation engine, and one is the iterating engine. This is this is the way that I like to think about it, and I'm quite unique in that in that in that regard, um, because it's just it simplifies things when we're when we're using names that that sort of are more intuitive to us. So filter context or sort of like aggregations, right? Filter context is um, working with your model, right? It's working and evaluating through the um, columns that you are placing inside your formulas. So, for example, right, we have a really simple formula here called sum, okay? And so, wh why don't we actually, we'll drag this in, let's drag it in. We'll drag it into these two tables so we can actually have a look at it. Okay, so what's happening with this particular formula, with this aggregating formula, as in sum, what's happening is the filter context engine is um, working, uh, it's working its magic, because what's happening is that we're, we're, we're getting context, evaluation context from all these different um, filters or slices we, we might have, have on our page, and then what happens is we then go and um, sum, we're just doing a simple sum of a column, and so what's happening is all the filters are being placed here in the model, and then what we're going to have is a, is, a, is a revised sales table right after all those filters have been put in place, and then with that simple sum, we're basically just aggregating up everything that is in that filter context. Okay, after you know, so think about those filters are being applied, and then everything that is left over, boom, we're we're, we're calculating that all up in one go. Okay, with 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 nothing fancy being done, we're just looking at that one column that has been that remains after all filters and all all, all evaluation context is in place. And then we're, we're, we're running the logic that way, okay? And that's what's deemed the filter context, okay? And that's how we evaluate all of these results here. So nothing too, you know, um, advanced there. It's, it's relatively straightforward. And to be honest, I don't want you to overthink it. Um, I, can, I, I, I definitely have come across a lot of material that tries to overcomplicate it. And it's not. It's not overcomplicated. It's basically just doing a full aggregation over a column that's the way to to generally think about it right after all filters are are, are in place are, are um are locked in within you know any particular result right so you know think about the filters that are here the filters we have some sort of context coming from here but we also have some coming from here so the, these filters are being applied and then the quantity the sum of the quantity column is just working over whatever uh, rows remain after those filters are, are are applied okay so that's it that's filter context let's in the next video go over row context or the iterating engine